Hi, I'm Matt Slauson. I uh, created the, the post making video and I thought I'd show some people how to use Windows Movie Maker since uh, uh, some of the people on the Delphi site weren't quite sure how to use it. Um, the first thing I did was create some of the videos. I shot video on my uh, DSLR camera and so I saved videos and pictures. So if I go into my files on my computer, um, if I go into my documents, I create a folder. You can create a folder by right mouse clicking in the in the uh, white space of the of your computer file system. I'm using Windows 8 on my my computer and create a new new. Uh, folder so that's all I did so I created a new folder and uh, I shot some video and pictures and I I saved the video and pictures so the 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 uh, folder was called video repairs that I created so I'm just gonna open that up and show show what that is so the these are the still pictures video clips and a bunch of sound files I created to create the video for the uh, the post making uh, video I created. At the end of creating the post making video, I uh, I uh, published the movie. It's Windows Movie Maker. It's really pretty simple. And there's there's the uh, uh, this file right here that I'm highlighting right now is the the video. Uh, those of you that watched it saw and this video is the file for creating it in w Windows Movie Maker so if I need to go back and edit that file I I'm able to do so uh, I'm far from being expert in this so uh, uh, I'm sure there's other people that uh, are able to do this and create much more intricate videos than I do so the, the first step is really shooting the video and the pictures and saving the files in, in one place. So once you, once you have those files saved in one place, uh, you need to, you know, collate them in Windows Movie Maker. So if I, uh, uh, my, my apologies, I, this, this, this computer is new to me and I'm not, uh, uh, quite uh, adept at using it yet. It's a Windows 8 computer which is a whole lot different than Windows 7. So what I'm going to do is try to get to uh, Windows Movie Maker and once I do get to Windows Movie Maker, hopefully, um, I'm going to uh, show you how to create a movie. So this is the, the uh, the screen for Windows Movie Maker. If I uh, come up to here and say add video and photos, if I click on that, if all my files are saved in the same location, when I go to do a project, they're all there and life is good. If I have the files saved in different locations, then the program goes and looks for them and if if you don't have them open or in an accessible place it doesn't know where to find them and over in this area you'll come up with a lot of warning signs so the best tip I can give you to create a movie is to save all your files in the same folder and that way um, the the program knows where to look so I'm just gonna go start with add video and um, I can scroll to where I have a particular video and so here's my documents folder where I saved my my file for the Windows Movie Maker files I created and I'm just gonna click on that for just for demonstration purposes and tell it to open the file this happens to be the little section of video I created for uh, turning the brass uh, blank down to the correct size. So you can see that 
there's the the beginning if I play the video it will show you how the video played and so forth if I want to add a um, narration on top of that I can do that but the problem is if uh, I'm just gonna click on this again if I click on that again you'll notice that the sound from my video is pretty pretty loud so I'm gonna go to the the edit screen and I'm gonna click on video volume and I'm just gonna turn it down to uh, a volume that I think I can tolerate for my video and then I'm gonna play it again and you notice it's a it's considerably quieter so I can change the video sound to a, a quieter sound uh, just by changing changing that um, so there's my video um, if I go back to my home screen right up here and click on that and I want to record a narration for my video I click on record narration and I gotta admit that when I do this I end up doing like half a dozen takes because uh, my brain doesn't operate fast enough uh, for my voice so I end up uh, uh, trying to talk and think at the same time and it doesn't always work so I click on record and it will record the sound that I'm I'm trying to talk about so it'll record this cam studio um, sound that I make and I'm gonna stop that and then it's gonna ask me what I wanna what I wanna call this so I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it uh, um, uh, video underscore narration one so I'm calling it that and um, what you want to do is save that in the same file that you saved all of your other uh, video clips and pictures that you took for your your uh, video that you create so I'm going to save that and you'll notice in Windows Movie Maker you can see this uh, this file here that shows the uh, narration that I created so now if I if I uh, if I click on the play button for this it will record the sound that I'm I'm trying to talk about so it'll record this cam studio um, sound so it recorded all that. If I if I'm uh, uh, talking about something where um, the start and stop isn't appropriate, so I'm going to come over in this area and click over here at the beginning of my video, and I'm going to drag this line here to the beginning of my video, and then I'm going to click on narration tools and I can set the start point of my narration by just clicking on that and try it again and notice that it chopped off that little blank area over here where I was waiting to say something slightly intelligent and then at the end of the sound clip over here I can drag that I'm um, um, dragging dropping that little this little line here over to the end and then I can say set endpoint of the narration and notice I'm still in narration tools uh, I can click on that and I can set the starting and ending point of my narration um, for where I want it to be so and you can do that uh, multiple times so let's say I want to add another snippet of video so I'm gonna click on home again I'm gonna add add video and photos and I just pick another video clip there's there's another video clip in this very same file I was working on before 
I'm going to open that up and Windows Movie Maker is going to paste that in and so there's that section of video and let's say I want to I want to start the this section of video by having some kind of caption in it so if I click on this caption that'll put a slide at the beginning of that video so I'm going to click on that and over here it says enter text uh, here and all I'm going to do is type something in uh, and I'm going to say video example <clears throat> and I'm just going to click and uh, I'm left mouse clicking most of the time and you notice it says video example here so now if I click at the beginning of this notice this little bar is at the beginning of that section of the video if I click on that it'll play my video and show and it will show the 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 uh, caption on the slide now uh, I noticed that on that video it was way the, the machinery was way too loud so I'm gonna go click at the beginning of that video I'm gonna click on the home oops oops I'm gonna click on edit and I'm gonna click on video volume and notice it's in the middle it's, it's the middle of the recording that I did the original video on and I'm just going to slide it over here and turn the volume down and now if I play it you'll notice that the uh, the sound of the machine is much quieter and you can still see what's going on um, <clears throat> it's always good I think to put some still photos into your video so I'm going to go back to my home slide so I'm going to click on home I'm going to click on add videos and photos and you know the the real life video is great shows the movement and what you are doing but sometimes a still picture is a is a great fix uh, feature to have in so one of the better of the crappy pictures I took was of the uh, uh, the E flat key of the saxophone so I'm going to click on that that file so it's right here and say open and Windows Movie Maker is going to place that file into my movie file and it's right here and I can do basically the same things that I did with the video I can I can add a, a caption at the bit at the beginning where I say uh, uh, whatever it is I want to say E flat post okay and so when I play the video when it it comes up it's gonna say E flat post um, if I want to edit that if I come over to this section and and left mouse click and edit it I can highlight it and I can come up here to the video editor right up in this area here and I can change the size of the text so I want it bigger 72 font is about one inch so it's gonna create it I'm just gonna drag this text box up just to make it uh, bigger and I'm gonna drag it to make it of course wider and so then it would say E flat post over there if that's what I I wanted that uh, section of the video to say and I can always check it by by clicking on the play to see what it uh, what it what it was going to show so I'm going to stop that <clears throat> so that's uh, video that's uh, images uh, digital still photos and text if uh, if I want to record sound that's pretty pretty easy I'm gonna go back to my home slide and there is this uh, this uh, button here it shows the 
microphone that says record narration and if I if I click on that my computer happens to have a microphone and a camera in it so that's good if yours if yours doesn't you can always plug in a microphone to your computer and uh, record off of that so I'm gonna click on record narration and uh, when I decide I want to record the narration I'm gonna click on of course record and it's recording what I'm saying right now and when I get done saying the silly things I'm gonna say I click on stop and this menu comes up where it says where essentially it says where do you want to save the file and of course I'm gonna save them in the the same file I saved all my other stuff in so I'm gonna call it uh, narration uh, example so I've recorded that I'm gonna save it and uh, um, it it will be saved at this point now notice I uh, I kind of goofed up it's it's right there but I didn't have any uh, video or images on top of that so it's going to be in uh, in it's going to be kind of scrunched up if I um, have a section in narration or um, uh, that I want to rearrange it's pretty simple so this section here that I'm looking at is that E flat post picture that I created and if the narration I created is longer than the timeline that the the uh, image is on all I have to do is click on that and go to edit and if it defaults to certain values and quite honestly I don't remember what they are uh, it says it's seven seconds but let's say my my narration is uh, 15 seconds long all I have to do is hit this down arrow and change it to you know whatever value I want it to be and then my my image and my narration will will match so I've showed you how to bring in video still pictures and narrations into your into your video once you get all done doing that um, and you look at it and you go oh, I wish I'd done this before I did this it's pretty easy to rearrange things so if I uh, decide that I want this E flat post image in a different location if I hold the cursor over that image and I'm right mouse clicking or right uh, I've got a touchpad and touch screen on this I'm right mouse clicking and I'm going to drag it. I can drag this up to wherever I want it to be and then release and now my my section of the video that I want will be in a different location. Um, so you can rearrange things the way you want them to be. Um, so once I get done with uh, adding videos, adding um, sound, adding pictures uh, I might go back and do some editing and find some um, um, uh, pages that I or titles or captions I want to do so at the beginning maybe I want to say you know who I am and, and what the video is about so I'm gonna click at the beginning and, and get this bar right at the beginning and I'm gonna do a title slide so I'm gonna click on that and um, it's gonna come up with a text box and I can I can highlight the text box and I can say uh, um, uh, whatever it is um, stupid video so I'm going to have that so I can put that in there <clears throat> I can change you know there's there's text tools for changing font size and and color and all that kind of stuff if you want to and let's so let's say that um, I don't like uh, 
the uh, white uh, font on top of a black screen. I can highlight that like any other text tool. And I can go into here and change and create another color if I like. And save that. And so it'll fade in and fade out whatever happens to be on my video. Of course when I get to the end I can I can click on the end and I can get my cursor to the end and I can go back into my home screen and put credits in and you know there's different formats you can play with to uh, get those in and it will play the credits and it's all it's all really pretty pretty simple so the tips I can give you would be to shoot your video on your video camera and take some pictures on your video camera and then upload them to the same file so all your pictures are in the same file then create your video like I've showed you once you get done with all of those things if I go to file I can go to either publish movie, movie so I can send it to YouTube or Facebook or whatever but usually what I do is go to save movie and then go to for my computer and it will save um, save the video to uh, you know the same file that I had been putting the whole thing in and I'm gonna save and it'll take a little while and then you can uh, upload it to, vit to uh, YouTube or upload it to uh, the Delphi site or whatever you want to do and hopefully you can uh, share some really cool things you do in your repair shop uh, uh, really I did this because uh, I know there's some uh, really exciting things people do and I'm, I'm and, and uh, I'm hoping to learn from some other people so hope this helps and uh, good luck with making your video um, by the way, I'm using a software program called uh, Cam Studio to try to record this, and uh, hopefully, uh, I'll get this posted and uh, life will be good.